Welcome back, kids. I've got a good video for you today. I will be installing my Pwn CNC ATC spindle. And let me tell you, that thing is a beast. I'm going to go through uh, all the steps of installing it. First, I got to take off my old spindle, which I will be referring to as Old Faithful from now on. Because that, that is a good spindle, and I'm hanging on to it, too. I'm not selling, so don't even, you know, don't come at me with that. Uh, so I've got to uninstall the old one, install the new one, and then I'll go through the process of the configuration in the Masso. So let's just quit talking about it, and let's do it. So let me show you how I'm going to do all this. All right, it's time to take my spindle off we're going to replace it with that bad boy laying right over there unhook these wires and water hoses Ooh. oh there it goes those cool connectors are incredible as you can see there not one drop of water leaked and got on my wasteboard. I don't even know how they do that. That is amazing. All right, now I gotta get this off here. Damn, oh, that's heavy. I gotta show y'all this. Look at this. I didn't realize that. Look how much bigger that ATC spindle is than the standard spindle. They're both heavy as a, like they're made out of lead. But I'm sure, all this up here is the pneumatic part of it. All right. Pwn CNC recommends that the slider be set at its lowest level. So I got to bring mine down couple notches. All right, the Z slider is bolted on in the lowest position, and I lowered the uh, Z all the way down as far as it'll go, and then I'm going to drop in that new spindle. Whew. Oh, what a monster. Bring it up. Of course, this will be adjustable later. I'm just going to start it out right there just because it looks right. All right, looking at the top of the spindle, going to hook up the airlines. This is the blue, the one that has the blue wrapper on it, which goes to the tool changer. Then you have this one that has the green wrapper on it. It has the split, and it's going to go right here. From what I just need to be seated in there tightly. All right, I think that looks good. All right, now we need to install the two coolant lines. And your spindle will come with these rubber protectors on those inlets. Get that off of there. It doesn't matter which one goes where. So, and these are this is the water line that was used on my first spindle. So, no change there. Oh, 
and we have this power. So that's what the ends look like, four pin, but this was the, it's, this is the bigger of the two. And it's keyed so it can only go one way. And next is the motor sensor cable. It's four pin. That's the beauty of the way they put this together. You have two pin, three pin, four pin, and five pin connections. So there's no way to screw this up. But it is keyed. So let me see how that goes. Right there. All right. And that was the lavender, I guess you would say, wrapped uh, cable. But it's the only four pin, other than the power one. But this, this is four pin also, but it's much bigger than this one. So you can't get those mixed up either. If you're enjoying this video or feel like you're learning anything, please give me a like below. I sure appreciate it. And that lets YouTube know that you appreciate my content. If you have any questions, comments, leave them below. I always reply to those. And while you're down there, if you would like to hit that Super thanks button. I'd appreciate that too. Okay, the next thing we have to do is install this 5 pin control cable. This runs from the pneumatics enclosure to the masso. And this is what controls the tool changer. This is the package that you'll get with it. And you scan that QR code and it'll take you to a video that Jeff did for Pwn CNC. It shows how to do this, but I'm going to go ahead and make my version of it uh, just in keeping with the theme of the ATC install. So let's get that done. All right, first step, you got to run your wires through this uh, yellow plastic part. This is going to clip in right here in this opening. But first, you got to run your wires through and then slide that little plastic washer up on there and then the nut and you just pull it through and go ahead and screw that down and just do it hand tight then you take all your wire the end of your wires and push them in this biggest gap here the bottom opening All right, and it just clicks in place there. Now I'll set it back up on the pedestal and we'll get it wired up. Now we can plug in our five pin control cable into the outlet that we just installed in the Masso. It only goes one way, which is that way right there. We're inside the masso, obviously. Let me get my wires here straightened out. First thing I'm going to do is connect this black wire to the ground. And it can go to any available ground. I'm just going to use this one here. And this little screwdriver that I'm using, this is what I always use inside the Masso. That's just a little flat head screwdriver out of a 99 cent eyeglass repair kit. And it's perfect for this in here. So, so if you don't have a small screwdriver, but you have an eyeglass repair kit, there you go. Okay, so we got that connected. Next one is the red. This is the jumpered red. Uh, it's also connected to a white and a yellow, but the red goes to any power that you have open. It doesn't matter which one. All right, got that. Now, over here, 
the yellow goes into input number seven, and all these inputs are numbered here. And this ferrule is bigger than the rest of these that are in the mass, though. So it can be kind of tough to get in there. I had to kind of squeeze mine and manipulate it a little bit to, uh, with a pair of pliers to get it thin enough to go on down in there. That's what there he said. Right. Then we have the white dumper piece here that goes next door, number eight. Right there. All right, then we have two wires left. The solid red and the green. The green goes in it. Output number seven. And the solid red goes in output number eight. All right, and that's all there is to that. So let's close it up and then I'll boot up my Masso and we'll go in there and set the configurations inside there. To set up the configurations in the Masso, just go to F1. You're gonna go to your inputs, there's input seven. Tap on that. And we're going to set that to Tool Changer 1. Hit Select. Then we're going to do Input 8. And Input 8 is going to be Tool Changer 2. Select. All right. Then on your outputs, we used Output 7. That is going to be the chuck clamp. Click that, select. And that completes the install of the phone CNC ATC spindle. Alright, let's test this joker. Using the manual tool change button. Yep. That is so freaking cool. Mic drop indeed. This is so cool. I'm so glad to see that thing finally functioning. Uh, it's super exciting. This process uh, is taking some time, but it's not as difficult as I had anticipated that it would be. Uh, it's still quite a bit of work uh, to get all this done, but, you know, I. I've just been taking my time and making sure I do things right. And if I have questions, I reach out to Pwn CNC. Uh, those guys are so great about getting back with you. And uh, our customer support just cannot be beat. I don't care who you compare them to. They're number one. And uh, I think the next step is I've got to place my, my tool racks and tool holders on the uh full board i gotta decide my placement on that and i'm also i've got uh, a new pwn cnc tool setter that i'll have to install but after those things are done i believe for all practical purposes this thing will be finished and uh, i'll be operational again so i'm really looking forward to that i i hope these videos are helping y'all and maybe putting your mind at ease you know because clearly a caveman can do this because I'm doing it. Uh, anyway, thank y'all so much for watching. Uh, be sure and like. If you haven't already subscribed, please do so. If you haven't checked this out on Discord, do that to uh, the Caveman Club. Uh, I've got links in the description below to all of this stuff that I've used, all the Pwn CNC stuff. You can get a 5% discount by using my affiliate code. I get a little bit of a kickback from that too. So, so that helps me and you. So, you know, win-win situation. Thank y'all. I will see you probably in a few days with uh, the next video. Y'all take care.